What is up everybody, Wally over here and today I will become the blue spirit. No, not that blue spirit, get that out of here, nope. Okay, <clears throat> so I was not 100% happy with um, the mask first time around. So I went back and did a few changes. For once, it didn't feel so blue spirit. Blue spirit. Anyways, what I did was I added cheekbones, make these little cheeks stick out more, because I feel like that was um something that was probably missing. Make it a little bit more cheeky. And also, I went and added the eyebrow the unibrow and so before it was just painted on but now i added cardboard to make it more uh stick out however when i was about to paint it i lost my paint brushes so i have not been able to paint it and then i added strings in the back just so um it looks a little bit more uh i don't, like it. I don't know the word for it anyways so Here's the second part that I promise no! the people, the swords. Ah, whatever. <laughs> the twin blades. Well, the blade splits into twin blades. And let's check it out. So using this box that I found in the trash, I'm gonna use this metal little blade to trace the sword. Once the sword is traced, I'm just gonna cut it off and attach the metal to it. So this is my basic shape. Once that was done, I started wrapping it in blue tape because I was gonna paint the silver. And then I just traced it into another one to build that second blade. Now using this blue tape, I'm going to be making the circle shape to uh, give it that three dimension, but then I decided to switch it into a little box instead of a circle handle thingy. And if you look at one of them is already finished while the other one is still in progress. So I just keep adding layers of cardboard onto the handle to give it more thickness. And then I'm gonna just gonna duct tape it all together. So now that I'm back at home, this is what the two swords look like. So far, so good. Pretty nice. And they don't line up perfectly at the bottom, but it's okay. So I bought this adhesive. Um, mm, what is this thing called? Uh, so frustrating. Magnets strip and I'm gonna use it so that the two swords stick together because they have metal inside that was the intent the whole time to make them magnetize into each other so they become one blade and can be easily separated so I'm just gonna stick this to this side but that is not sticking so nope this does not work this magnet is trash garbage so I'm gonna be using these um, stronger magnets and I'm gonna be putting one at the bottom and one at the top and they're very thick so I'm gonna cut into the cardboard and make a little box so that they fit in they won't fit in flush but they'll fit in closer and then I'll just duct tape it and that would be that so again the swords don't align perfectly and I did trace one out of the other one, but there's always gonna be uh, a little bit off. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist here. I'm just trying to like have some fun with it. But yeah, man, I am loving these swords. Pretty uh, nice, very accurate. And then I'm just gonna um, put black electrical tape around the handle to give it a leather look i wanted to make it brown but um because of time i decided just to go with some brown one i mean some black ones so now i'm just gonna put tape around it 
and we are gonna head outside for some spray painting. Now, I thought that the black would look pretty good with a little bit of gold, so we're gonna spray paint it gold. And in theory, I should have done this before I put the black tape. Yeah, I did that backwards. That would have been a lot easier backwards. But yeah, so now that we're outside, let's do some spray painting and let's get jiggy with it. Now for the blade part, I'm just gonna leave it the color that it is because it looks pretty accurate to meadow. All right, so now we're gonna put the costume on and I am a little bit fat, so I'm just gonna work with what I got. Anyway, so first thing is we're gonna put my black sweater because I could not find my black long sleeve t-shirt and it's a V-neck, so I'm gonna put it on backwards. And next, gonna be using this ski mask which I'm gonna tie to the back as well so it doesn't give me such a fat looking neck. And to put it all together is the mask. The Last Airbender, which will be a fan fiction about Iroh and his son Luten. So, cheers to that.